Hello, and welcome to Phil Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called WINS Configuration. In this scenario, we will be setting up a WIM server in a single site in such a way that numerous PCs can connect to it to find out information about other devices that have connected to it. In the next video, we will be adding a second site. Here we are on Win Site 1, which is our Win Server on Site 1. Let's install the Win Server on this server. Inside of the Server Manager, we'll go to Add Roles and Features. We've been through this wizard before, so I'll quickly go through it. Since the Win server is considered old technology, it is now considered a feature, not a role. Okay, now we're going to install it. Okay, let's go up to Tools and activate it. We're looking at the active registration. It will not show us anything until we click on the display records. We have to tell WINS how we want to see the records. The record mapping gives us the information directly from the record itself. The record owner is the WINS database that first pulls in the information. And the record type filters records by the type of records they are. We can check the records we want to see. I'm going to use the record mapping and I will type a star or wildcard so it will show me all the records. Now let me set up this server so that it will connect to the WINS database. I need to access the network card and tell it to use the WINS database. I'll click on the advanced button and click on the wins tab. I'll put in the IP address of the wins server and this computer will contact the wins server. Notice that I specifically decided not to use a DNS server. That way we can verify that any IP address I get comes from the WINS database. Now let's verify that the WINS server sees our network card. We'll refresh the list. There they are. The WIN server sees the WINS site 1 server and the IP address. We see several entries because there are different types of records that are being accounted for. The different types of records are based upon the different type of services that this server is able to perform. Now we're on PC1. We're going to set the network card of this computer so that it connects to the Win server also. Let's open up the local area connection properties. 
Notice that there is no DNS server listed. I'll type in the IP address of the Win server. Since there is no DNS server, any IP information that PC1 gets, we know came from the Win server. Let's go back to the server WinSite 1. We can look and see if the information filtered from PC1 to the Wins database. I'll click on refresh. Yep, there it goes, PC1. Wins is similar to a DNS server. And this one also has information about what services it has access to. Okay, I'll try to ping PC1. Yes, it has the IP address of PC1. The WINS database is an outdated method for resolving IP addresses. But it's worth learning because many older applications still rely upon this method. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.